If you're thinking about moving to Greer, South Carolina, you do not want to miss this video to learn about all the pros and the cons about moving to the area. Hi, I'm Evan Whaley. I run the Living in Greenville SC team here. And if you're thinking about making a move here in the upstate, we'd love to be a resource for you. Now back to the video. If you're curious about moving to Greer, um, the first thing I wanted to start out with before I go into the pros and the cons is just kind of explaining Greer a little bit just to give you a background on it. Greer is a suburb of Greenville and Spartanburg, South Carolina. I find a lot of people who either work in Spartanburg or work in Greenville, they'll live there and they'll commute and it'll be kind of your traditional suburb but there's also a lot of employment opportunities in Greer as well. But before we get into all that stuff, let's actually talk about Greer as a whole. I almost think that Greer almost has four different parts to it. So one is everything that's north of 85. So in that area, uh, as you get closer to Greenville, you kind of get some really beautiful communities. You're kind of on Pelham Road. You get a lot of conveniences. And then you get south of 85 as you get a little bit closer to the airport, even though the airport's a little bit north of 85. Kind of tucked in that area right around 101. You get a little bit of a different experience. There are some beautiful homes. There's a lot of BMW executives who live in that area, but then you get a little bit more of a rural feel. You also have the area that's near the downtown of Greer, um, which you're seeing a lot of revitalization happening as that downtown has really grown and a lot of people have been really attracted to it from all different kinds of age groups and demographics and everything. So you get a little bit of a different feel there as well. And then you have everything that's kind of in the Blue Ridge Mountains area as you get even further north and you get up closer towards the lakes and the mountains and that's kind of a different feel in and of itself. So I say all those things to say I'm going to talk about Greer as a whole but just realize that there's different parts that you can live in and you might have a very different experience and that's one thing I would say in general if you're thinking about relocating to the Greenville South Carolina area that's something you might actually notice you know probably here is a consistent theme on all of my videos that you really want to talk with an expert to really understand all these different dynamics because you can get a much different feel depending on where you go and I've seen that in the past. So let's get back to the pros and the cons. Let's start with all the pros and then we'll switch over to the cons and make sure if you're thinking about making a relocation that you hang on until the end because you're really going to want to hear these cons and make sure that Greer is the right place for you. Let's start with all the pros though as I mentioned. So the first pro I have to go with is the school system. You've got some really really great schools in Greer. Again please check all the stats yourself. I'm going directly off the greater schools but do your own research and to make sure because again it's different. There's a lot of different school systems in the area, but Riverside is an area that has a middle school and a high school, and that has historically been considered one of the best schools to send your, your kids to. And so that's something that's a big attraction for people. When you look on greater schools or niche or any of those sites that rate schools, they're normally between an eight or a nine out of 10, and it's typically rated as one of the absolute highest. So that's something that is a big attraction, especially for families that are relocating to the area that have kids. The second thing that I would say is the cost of living. Overall, moving to South Carolina compared to the national average, places are going to be more affordable. Taxes are better here. Real estate is more cost affordable here. So there's a lot of really great benefits if you're someone that's trying to live a more budget friendly and economic lifestyle and moving to South Carolina in general. But Greer is actually 9% below what the national average is for cost of living total. A big reason for that is housing. Housing tends to be a big break, but everything else is actually still slightly below national average. So Greer overall is going to be very affordable if you're coming from you know other areas that wouldn't, wouldn't be like a small town or anything like that, you might see some significant cost savings. Another huge thing that I think is really important about moving to Greer, and something that I really love about the upstate in general, is they've developed the downtowns, but Greer's downtown is one of the absolute best in my opinion. It's really beautiful with the brick cobblestone streets. You've got a lot of really great places to eat. A Select is a restaurant there that is one of my absolute favorites in the entire upstate. You get some incredible meals, everything from a lunch to a dinner, whatever you want. And they've kind of got it all in between in price ranges, so it's a really great great place I feel like people to go. Tons of shops and breweries for people who want to do that. You've even got like a women's hair salon. You've got a men's barber shop. You've got kind of everything that you want and it's really awesome to see because you have this whole local feel that's down there. Everything. You name it, it is down there and you have an option for it. I think that's really an impressive thing about Greer and the cool thing is that downtown is actually located very close to this area called Wade Hampton. So Wade Hampton is a street that runs all the way into downtown and I'm actually going to say that's a pro of living in the Greer areas because you have 
have easy access to Wade Hampton, which again will take you all the way to downtown. Uh, on Wade Hampton, you pretty much have all of your conveniences, Hobby Lobbies, Target, grocery stores, you name it. It's all on that street. So I think that's a really big and, and valuable thing for someone that's looking to live in the Greer area because you have all those things right there. Another thing that's a really big benefit to me of living in Greer is the actual location of itself. The reason I say that is you're really close to all the mountains, you're close to lakes, so you get to experience a lot of the stuff that creates that charm in the upstate and you're normally not too far from downtown. You're anywhere from about 20 to 40 minutes kind of depending on what part you live in. So that makes it a really easy drive and you can also get to Spartanburg pretty conveniently. So You've got two, you know, mid-sized cities. You're kind of right there in between. So you kind of get the best of both worlds depending on what you want and need. And there are, like I mentioned, a lot of the major employers are kind of in that area. I've talked a little bit about this already, but I have to say the conveniences of living in Greer are really special as well. Now, if you do pick that Blue Ridge area, you're gonna have some absolutely incredible views. It's absolutely breathtaking. When we talk about, you know, the other areas of Greer, you're gonna have a lot of conveniences available to you, whether you're going on Wade Hampton or Pelham or you're going to downtown Greer, you're going to be able to find a lot of things that you need really close by and I think that's a huge attraction for a lot of people. Another thing that I think is really great about that, they have a Top Golf in Greer which has become really popular. It's a really fun thing to do if you don't have one of those in your city and that was a really big thing when it was brought to our area. The BMW driving experience is out there as well. It's a little costly if you actually go and, and do the driving experience but uh, that is a really fun time if you get the opportunity to do that. Definitely don't pass that up. They also have a, uh, you can go in and you can walk through and you can see the history of BMW. And so that, that's a really cool thing. That's a great attraction to this area and something that's a little unique that's offered in the Greer area. The last thing that I have to say on the pro side, if you're someone that has to travel a lot for work, you have the airport that's located right there in Greer. It's for Spartanburg and Greenville. And so it's really close, convenient, and it was rated as one of the top 10 small to medium sized airports in the entire US. They keep that thing really pristine. It it's really a great experience going to that airport. It's not some of the hustle and bustle that you normally see, but they have enough terminals and options that you can really fly you know, to several different places, and that makes it pretty special. Let's flip to the cons, why you might not want to move to Greer. And make sure if you're thinking about making a relocation that you hang on until the end because you're really gonna wanna hear these cons to make sure that Greer is the right place for you. So I've got three that I think are really important for people to know about that could potentially be a deal breaker for someone wanting to move to Greer. Area. The first con that I have to go with is the traffic on I-85. If you live in the Greer area, more than likely you're probably going to have to take I-85 a lot. Now, it, it gets backed up kind of in that Pelham area, which is just an exit where a lot of people are going for either shopping or going to their homes to so get some build up there. And then if there's ever an accident, just because there's not enough lanes that can really kind of congest things. And so that's kind of the unfortunate thing with traveling down I-85. They're doing a lot of construction to try to alleviate that, but of course, during the interim right now as I'm recording this video, that makes things worse, but in the future it should make things better. So at least this, they are aware of it and they're working on it. But right now, it's a little bit of an issue for the residents that live in the Greer area. My next con is actually needing to travel down Wade Hampton. So if you live in Greer, you're either going 85 or Wade Hampton for the most part. Now, like I mentioned, Wade Hampton offers a lot of awesome options, a lot of big conveniences, and I think it is a pro and a con, honestly. But the con part of it is that there's a lot of lights going through there. There's people that are traveling to get to their homes or go to Target or wherever they need to go. So traffic can build up again. That creates a little bit of a bottleneck and just depending on how you hit those lights, it can really dramatically change your time frame of wherever you're trying to get to. That's just another con and something else to know about if you decide to move to the Greer area. And my last con, which I talked about 85, I talked about Wade Hampton, but if you're kind of in that Blue Ridge area or you're further out, it's a little bit more difficult to access the interstates. You know, as you get closer to the lakes, now what I've found is that people that gravitate towards those areas, generally it's not as big of a deal to them because they want to kind of live a little bit more out on their own, be a little bit more secluded. But if you're kind of wanting that, you want those beautiful views up there in the Blue Ridge and then you also want quick access to the interstate, it's not always possible because you're gonna take a couple roads and you're gonna kind of weave around and until you actually get to that interstate access. So compared to like Simpsonville, and again, there's other areas of Simpsonville that you might not have put interstate access to as well, but for the most part, a lot of that does. And um, so that's just something else to keep in mind and something if you really want to you know, have quick access and make your commute as short as possible, might not always be an option. Overall, I think Greer is a really phenomenal place to move 
there are some cons just like with any city out there no place is perfect and no place is for everybody but i hope this video was helpful to help you understand what's going on in greer why you might or might not want to move to the area we hope this video helps you determine if greer would be a good place for you to move to if you still have questions go ahead leave a comment down below and ask us or you can reach out all of our contact details are down below in the description send us an email a text a phone call whatever works best for you we'd be happy to answer any of your questions and if you like this content please go ahead and hit that bell icon and subscribe so that you're the first to know whenever we release a new video and if you liked it please give us a thumbs up and let us know that we're doing a good job so we can continue making videos that work for you and we look forward to seeing you at the next video